This is a UWE drama called Lucky Number. It is a fiction-based piece on the mental illness of being a hypochondriac. The lead character Luke leads a relatively simple lifestyle. However, when the shopkeeper upsells him a scratch card, he hastily buys it. Will his life be turned around for the better by this purchase, or send his life into turmoil? Hello, Luke. And what's the problem today? When I'm under pressure, I feel like I get this sharp pain in my chest, and there isn't anything I can do to get rid of it. Well, make sure you're happy with what you're doing in your life, Luke. The less stress on you, the better. By the sounds of things. I mean, I'm very happy in my life, just the way it is. Just sometimes it comes on here and there due to change. If it's significant, I'm fine. But when it comes to going out with friends, it reoccurs. Well, here is a prescription for you to take every time you feel like you're about to be in a stressful situation. Thanks. Hello, there, Ben. Yeah, thanks. Looks like you have some spare change there. Yeah, I can never seem to get rid of the small change. When you buy a scratch card, light in your load. Well, I don't usually gamble. Could be your lucky day. You never know. All right then. Today's my lucky day. I bought a scratch card. And I've got a good feeling about this. Yeah, sure. Chance of winning of one in a million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God! I've just won. What? How much? Eight hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Well done. Don't go spending it all at once. I mean, why bother staying here if you've got more money than the manager? I will still work it. I just won't be in tomorrow. Lucky soul. Hello, Dad. Get everyone over to my flat, Stan. Why, son? What's happened? It's a surprise. Trust me. So, I bet you're wondering why I called you all over to my place. Yes, we were actually. Well, I've just hit the jackpot. I've just won a grand total of eight hundred and fifty thousand. So now I'm wondering how to spend it. I'm thinking I may hold on to it for now, just for safekeeping and all. Yeah, that sounds like a very good thing to do. Well, to be honest, I just want to continue my life how it is, without any further stresses being placed upon my shoulders. I, I speak for myself and your mother. I'm thinking if it's not too much bother. If you could give us a couple of thousand just to help us with our mortgage, I know, I know, it's a lot to be asking of you, son. But if you could spare some money, we'd be really grateful. Dad, 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 what are you doing? Sorry, I really shouldn't be asking in the first place. Of course, Dad. It's only fair that I give something back to you for all those years of bringing me up right. <laughs> Isn't he the one who won the money? Is there something I can help you with? Sorry, but aren't you the one who won the eight hundred and fifty thousand pounds? Sorry, how do you know about that? It's been all over the papers. Really? <clears throat> Luke, can I have a word, please? All right. I'm sorry, Luke. I'm going to have to let you go. Excuse me. It's time we give someone else a chance. So I think it's time that you leave, as you don't need the money anymore. That's not fair at all. I mean, I still work hard for my money. Sorry, I think you'd better leave. You just think you're better than us. No, I don't. I've seen you walk round with that massive smug smile on your face. You know what? I don't need this rubbishy job anyway. Hello. Hi, son. I have a big favour to ask you. Me and your mother are thinking about extending our house, and just wondered if we could borrow some money. Yeah, sure, anything for you. Thanks, son. Just one thing before you go. I got sacked from my workplace because of my newfound fortune, and not only that, the public seemed to know about my winnings. Well, I may be at fault there. I'm a 
afraid I may have let it slip to the press about your win. Excuse me? What? I didn't ask for this life, and I didn't ask for you to tell anyone, including the public. Thanks. <sighs> All right, mate. Hey, man. Fancy coming over just to catch up and chill? I've just had the worst day ever you wouldn't believe. Yeah, sure, man. Well, I'll be over as soon as I can. Hey, come in. Take a seat, buddy. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. So, what should we do? TV or games? Games, you choose though. Bit of cod it is then. Yeah man, uh, can I ask you something? Sure, what is it? I really want to get this new bike, but I just can't afford it right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I was wondering if I could... No, because I've had enough of people fucking asking me for money. Oh. Oh. That pain's coming again. You don't have pain there, it's all in your head. But about just the money... Just get out! Oh. Where the hell are those pills? I've got to get away from this place, or I can be myself again. May I donate this check to charity? Why, why of course. Don't you need this? No, I need to get back to the person I once was. Right. This has to be the most generous check I've ever seen. I'm not sure if I can accept this. Let's just say having money isn't everything it's cracked up to be. I can't accept this check, sir. Sir! 